Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Alright, so this is a little project MacBook which I picked up. It, um, I've already had it booting, the screen comes on, it looks like it's okay. I can't log into it, it's got an account already on there, so I can't actually get into. Um, green light on the charger, which looks promising, there's no battery symbol. Trackpad is damaged by the looks of it, but that's probably why I bought it. And um, if I remember rightly, the issue, issue this thing had was that the battery had failed and swelled up, and it then when that happens, they tend to damage the trackpads. So um, you can't get trackpads for them. So that's what I believe is wrong with this one. But so the screen looks good and it boots up. So currently, there's no graphics problem, which is the main concern with these things. So let's open this thing up and actually have a look and uh, see what you find inside it. Obviously it's got a hard drive, I don't know which one's in it. I'm going to have to do a clean install on it and um, refresh the system and that sort of stuff. But that's not a big deal. The problem with this being all reflective and silver is it gets lots of uh, white balance issues with the camera. So sorry about that. And one of those screws is like it's corroded. A bit of corrosion on there, so it has got some liquid going there at some point. And we'll see what the story is once we get the case open. But it does boot up, so if it is liquid damaged, it won't be too serious. Okay. Look for evidence first. A bit of dust. No signs of spills. So yeah, that's nothing unusual there. The battery is in it. And it is swollen. Battery is swollen. Okay, let's take that out. That's a tri wing. Battery is 40. That's why the trackpad's bad. That's okay, we'll get that out. Has a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which is brilliant. So, yeah, that's what's wrong with that. Bad battery. Can't see any corrosion. Doesn't have one video memory on it, it's got two vacant spots here for video RAM. But uh, that's okay. So yeah, let's get this out. All right, so see, here's the battery pack swollen up. See that? Try and get an angle you can see. Hopefully. All right. So that's the level it should be at, and that's the level it's at. It's come up. It's twice as thick as it used to be. Um, so that's been pressing on the trackpad. So maybe I'll. Yep, trackpad now works. That's all right. Although it is bent slightly, I think. I can probably correct that. Yeah, I think that's okay now, actually. Now yeah, I've just done that, I've just pushed this bracket here slightly. I think that's now right again. It's actually collapsed the bracket here slightly. So now it seems okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's alright. I think I'll go over that. That's okay. So, um, bad battery. Now, I actually have a brand new battery here somewhere. Where did I put it? There you go. One brand new battery. Let's put this in. You can see here the difference in height. Now, unless flat packs like that, you can see it one of them is swollen up. It's quite significant. So, one brand new battery. Is that sitting in there right? No. I think it is. Might just be this is not quite sitting right.
There we go. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. It's the uh, part of the original casing has broken off. Just here. There's a bit more somewhere. Where'd it go? There's one piece. So the little tabs were originally it's broken off. This is the get the other piece out. It's a screw. Um, pretty sure another piece was there. Here we go. Here it is. Okay. So where's that screw from? There's not many cross heads. Most of them are tri wing or um, or. Um, Here we go, that's where it goes. Yeah. Um, tri wing or pentlobe. I think that's where it came from, was there, the fan. Okay, cool. Now we will drop this in. I've got this bit of broken battery up. It should now sit in there. It does. Let's plug it in. I probably won't get an orange light on the charger because the um oh, I have got an orange light on the charger, cool. Because this battery was already pretty well charged, so I didn't think it was gonna charge it, but oh, it's gone orange, so that's okay. It's recognised the battery's there. So we're all good. Let's put this these screws back in. What I should probably do is take these fans out, give it all a clean and flush it all out. Um, before it starts having issues with heat. Well good. So this should be a working computer. Um I'll clean these fans and stuff out first. I'll do that now actually, while I'm thinking about it. This is a pretty easy repair by the looks of it. Now the screw I'll just put back in again, I'll take back out. Um, put the fan out, put this fan out, and see how dusty these are. We're crapping these heat sinks here with the thermals. With this, gotta get all that out. So, I'm not gonna bore you with that, but um, I'll go and do that now and come back later on. Once I've got a new system installed, I'll do some checks on the Thermal properties of the CPU and the GPU, and I'll do my modification to it to see um, how well it behaves with my thermal pad option, um, which is try and get the heat out of the, away from the GPU so it doesn't get blown up by heat. Okay, so I've given it a clean out, clean the dust out, put the bottom cover back on again, let's boot it back up again. I've got my my test desk over here, which has got various partitions on it. Let's try and boot it up into that. See if I can boot it up into that. Okay, great. That's a booting up. So, bring out the various partitions. Do we have a trackpad? There we go. This trackpad. Once it's once it's whilst it's finding all the discs, it's a bit slow. So, there's two tests you can do: one in EFI, and one in the operating system. Operating system will test the graphics a little bit better. Oh look, Waikiki Primary School. That's where this came from. Awesome. Okay. Um, so I want a certain disc, which is which one? I can't see the full name. Makes it hard to know which one I want. There we go. One four six. Uh, one four four. That's what I want. I'm actually going to rename this disc to make it easier, so it'll be the proper name first. But yeah. So I'll do the EFI one first and we'll see how that goes. This is going to take a minute to find the hardware to run the tests on. We'll see how it goes. I'll do a full test on it and just leave it going. It might take about an hour and a half. But um, it needs to be thorough so I can see if there's any problems with the computer which I haven't identified yet. Well, we've already identified the USB port works, trackpad works, 
keyboard works because I was using it before. So I just finished doing the uh, EFI testing and it passed the test. As you can see just here, green. And it took 44 minutes, which isn't too bad. So uh, that seems okay. Interesting, it's actually faster than the 17 inch when I did that one. The 17 inch one took an hour and a half. So not quite sure why it's such a big time difference between the two. Mm, interesting. Mind you, the 17 inch had lots of memory in it. And maybe that's what the difference was. It's got 16 gig, this has only got 8 I think. Okay, so look at the hardware and just see what's in here. Trackpad is at least working okay. Let's check out the hardware profile stuff, which is in here. It tells you various voltages and stuff like that as well, so it can pass a test even if the voltage is wrong, if it's within tolerance. So um, it's just a few little things I need to just look through here. Firewire port and stuff like that, USB port. Look all right. So I'll read through all this anyway, and I'll probably do some more video if I find any problems in here. Okay, so after running those tests and doing the hardware profile straight afterwards, here are the, sens the, the sensor temperatures, which are, um, you've got battery temperatures, which are sort of 25 degrees, so sort of ambient. CPU is 70 degrees. Um, CPU die. So digital core, analog core, or analog temp, 62 degrees. CPU proximity is 57. Then we've got GPU underneath that, so look at those. So GPU die is 57, GPU proximity is 57. Alright, so those are the things I need to look at. PCH is 60. And proximity, yeah, proximity temp and diet temperature 64. Heat sinks 55, 53. Airflow temp 50, 42. Um, it's a shame there's actually no way of saving this, it'd be quite handy to reference back to it, apart from the video. So I might actually just do that, scroll back up in the video, the screen close up, and try and capture it all so I can cross check. Uh, voltages are looking okay, I think, so far. Um, CPU V core 8, well, 0.81 seems a little low actually. How accurate those voltages really are compared to you know, measured voltages normally, I don't know. Uh, we got GPU V core 0.684. That seems really low. I don't know how much you can trust those voltages on there, actually, we really don't know. This one here is looking way out. AXG, whatever that is. Um, that's reading is 0.145 and it should be between 0.288 and 1.5 so yeah PB bus is 12 so that's the middle of the range that's right fan sensing looks okay so but the fact they got to 70 degrees on the CPU and I can, it does feel pretty hot on the bottom there so what I'm going to do is going to shut this thing down, pull it apart, put my thermal pads into it, and then I'll let it all cool down, run exactly the same test again with those thermal pads in place, and see what difference we get. Okay, let's video these. Hopefully, this is close enough to see them, okay? Maybe I can go slightly closer. we go. So I put those thermal pads in place and run the complete test again to so exactly the same conditions as before. And the keyboard here is slightly warm. I've done my thermal camera test with this. It finished just like 20 seconds ago. 
maybe maybe 30 seconds ago. Um, it's about 43 degrees on the keyboard, and that actually feels absolutely fine. Underneath is 47 degrees, which is getting a bit warm if you're going to sit on your lap anyway. But this is working quite hard doing the test, I think. So let's see what the actual sensors say that they got. Um, I'm not going to worry about the top part. I know that's all should be the same, just the sensors should be different um, for the um, temperatures. So let's see, battery temperatures are about the same. We're reporting the same. CPU is supporting 70 again um, and 64 and CPU approximately 61. And GPU approximately 58. Um, oh, did I miss one? GP die 59. So this is reporting as being the same as before, which doesn't really make sense because there's definitely heat coming out from somewhere else. So I don't know. Um, heat sink temperatures 57, 53. Um, PCH 65. So I'll compare these with the actual one I got before, but um, it must be helping it surely. I can't see how it wouldn't be any different. Just to zoom in on these. I've installed a new system on this. It's the first time I've actually booted it off that system disk, to be honest. I think. So, you know, as long as it all goes well. Again, this is a... Um, whatever computer I end up keeping will be changed to SSD anyway. So there's, a, there's a, some cheap SSDs available. And, um, yeah, I might get some of them. Really cheap. I just need small ones. I don't need big, big ones for my... Um, some other machines. Some of these uses um, uses we have for these computers is for other people to make use of them at events. And so I don't actually need to store anything really, just be able to basically be using for web page browsing. As you can see it's a bit slow to boot because it's you know the way those older hard drives are. That's why SSD is great because you don't have to wait for the things to boot up forever. This bit should go faster. There we go. And here we go, MacBook Pro, and ultra secure password. Because you know, it's just a generic account thing set up. You know, and battery is showing ninety six. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on this one. I'm a little suspicious about the battery side of things because whenever I've plugged it in, it's wanted to charge, but. I'll try it again tomorrow. Um, there might be a slight battery discharge. Um, if there's not, then that's great. But um, I'm just a little bit mindful of the fact that it seems to drew up more than I would have thought it would. But it could be nothing. It could just be because I'm using a, a crappy aftermarket battery, which isn't very good. <laughs> it could just be that. Um, we'll see. I don't know. It's the first time I've used this particular battery. So I don't know, there might be, there's probably better ones. But um, let's say it all boots up, and at least it does that much and stuff. So Another success. That's two computers out of seven so far. The other ones are still working on. 